Sir, good people, the cure and wine from the continent. You'll find all you need. Welcome. It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? So, did they take the bait? Yes, Your Excellency. And I am very happy to see you. One of them came to the shop yesterday. He gave me 24 hours to raise the money required, which means that the entire gang could appear any minute now. Perfect. I'll hide and wait for their arrival. And rest assured, I will not let them go. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. You have what we're looking for, my good friend. Our man with the silver coin is not known for his patience. Well, I, I moved heaven and earth to collect the sum, but alas, I, I ran out of time. More fool you if you think Egon will be satisfied with your sorry excuses. You know what happens to those who refuse to pay. Leave this man alone at once. You're under arrest. We'll see about that. And who will stop us? We are the guard. You certainly don't deserve such a name. Bunch of cowards. Yield without a fuss and you'll have the right to a trial. Really? And then it'll be the gallows. Do you think we're pushovers? <laughs> Eternally grateful, Your Excellency. You saved my trade and my life. Stay alert. Their leader was obviously not present. I heard about the man with the silver coin, and this is the first time they told me his name. If they let him escape, it's only because they were thinking of killing you. I beg you, find this Egon and stop him. None of us will be safe as long as he's free. Don't worry. I don't intend to let him go. Are your boots worn through? Is your hat out of style? Does your vest belong to last year's fashion? Come closer, good people. The cure and wine from the continent. Here, protect us. We must find this Egon. At the barracks, perhaps. I doubt our man goes openly by that name. It is the silver coin he was looking for. So, men, how's it going? Everything's fine, Lieutenant. Nothing to report. All our friends are quiet. Perfectly quiet. As soon as they hear about a silver coin, they start trembling. Good. It would be a shame to have to make another example of them, right? Oh, there's no need, Lieutenant. 
They've been as sweet as lamb since Renault's accident. Accidents happen so quickly. I'm waiting for another delivery today. Have you seen your comrades? No, they must have stopped at the tavern on the way. As soon as we see them, we'll send them your way, Lieutenant. I hope those idiots aren't drinking my dew. No one would dare do that to you, Lieutenant. I hope not. Well, I'll have to remind them that the silver coin can shake everyone, even the guards. Well, I'll leave you. I have urgent business to attend to. Now, don't forget to send me those drunkards. Farewell, Lieutenant. There is no doubt. Here is our man. Let's follow him discreetly. Who are you? You're following me. Indeed. We would like to talk to you about the silver coin, Egon. It's now or never. Egon? <laughs> you must be mistaken. I don't know anyone by that name. Do not take us for fools. We heard you speak with your men. I don't know what you've heard, but you're wrong. I'm not Egon. Regardless, you are implicated in a murder and in the extortion of merchants. You are therefore under arrest. And we will finish by having you tell us who Egon is and where to find him. Oh yes, we'll see about that. <laughs> So, have you finally decided to follow us? So you can torture me? You can do whatever you want. I'll not tell you anything. I don't know who Egon is. I'm just a middleman. You're wasting your time. You must know more than you're willing to say. Come on! I'd rather die. Green blood, my friend. Do you need something? I must leave you.
The silver coin. His symbol of recognition. I have to show it to Manfred. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I conducted my investigation on the extortion organized by members of the Guard. I think I've put an end to it, at least temporarily. Unfortunately, I had to kill some of them as they were about to attack a merchant. But there are still some other soldiers involved that I should tell you about. Thank you, Your Excellency. I will have these men arrested immediately. These foolish brutes not only harm your merchants, but the entire reputation of the Guard. But you said you've only put an end to it temporarily. What makes you think this criminality might resume? Their leader is still on the loose. They call him Egon, although I doubt it's his real name. I got hold of one of his lieutenants. He was carrying a silver coin, which seems to be a symbol of recognition between the gang members. But the man preferred to die rather than tell us anything about his leader. Loyalty? Or terror? Terror, I fear. From the merchants to the guards, everyone seems to tremble in front of this Egon. I don't know any guard of that name. But as you said, it's probably a pseudonym. Here, Your Excellency. Take this. On behalf of the guard, to thank you for settling this case. And rest assured that I will conduct a thorough investigation on my side. I'll also make sure that in future the city guard is made up only of men of trust. Thank you. I will return to see how your investigation is going. I don't take this matter lightly. Is there anything else? No, thank you.
Cousin! You have returned to me. Your absence was sorely felt. We don't appear to be in top form. A house intrigue's keeping you from finding proper sleep. No. Nothing to bring me nightmares as of yet. I'm blaming it on the change of diet. Now, tell me what adventures you've been up to. If you only knew how bored I grow behind these walls. Any news of your parents? No. With the time it takes to travel to the continent, it's not surprising. But I don't miss them. My father's next letter will certainly be full of his usual disdain. As for my mother, you know her. She's probably too busy planning her next assassination to have noticed my absence. We were not able, alas, to stop the clash between the forces of the Alliance and Siora's clan. We arrived at the village and the battlefield too late. The Queen fell. I'm extremely sorry for your loss, Princess. Thank you. My sister survived, fortunately, and we are recovering from this tragedy together. But our clan was extremely weakened by this battle and by recent events. We shall keep a close eye on the Bridge Alliance and their undertakings. Rest assured. You should know that the battle took place in the middle of ancient ruins. The ruins were quite strange. We discovered a fresco that I'm certain was crafted by continental hands. Really? And how ancient are these ruins? Could they date back to the first landings of the Bridge Alliance? They date much farther back than their arrival would explain. My mother and my grandmother have always known them. Siora told me of a legend that spoke of them, about a people from the sea that were vanquished there. Do you think it was the Norts? It is not our custom to found a landlocked settlement. We have our islands and it is enough for us. If they are ancient, Perhaps your people once practiced older customs. This story is troubling, but it reminds me of something that I once read in the reports of Lady Morange. You should go and find her. Perhaps she could tell us more about them. Very well. Anything else? I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Constantine. Look out for yourself. Excellency, it is an honor. Good day, Lady Morange. Do you remember me? Of course. Sir de Sardé, isn't it? I hope that you and your cousin have grown to like it here. But I have little reason to believe you have paid me a visit to exchange civilities. Can I be of service? What do you know about the ruins found to the northwest of here? <laughs> the site that the natives call Didakidnadagais. That is not how we pronounce it, but yes, we are speaking of the same place. 
<laughs> your language is difficult to master, but I find it fascinating. Uh, to answer your question, I had countless questions about the place when our explorers and scouts first brought back sketches. Intrigued, I went there. I noted the architecture and their decorations. It is certain that they bear a striking resemblance with continental constructions, but they are more ancient. Too old to have been recently built by the Bridge Alliance settlers when they first set foot on the island. I even questioned the natives, but they only spoke of a people of the sea. My first thoughts went to the Noughts, but they're not known for building large towns, less so cities. There are other ruins on a cliff to the east of here. Perhaps they hide the key to this mystery. I hoped to organize an expedition, but the region is dangerous and hard of access. We explored mines at the bottom of the cliff, but we were not able to find an access to the plateau. If the mystery of these ruins intrigues you as much as me, it is in that direction that you should begin to look for answers. Can I help you with any other matter? What can you tell me about the relations we have with other nations? We play a difficult role, caught between these two enemy nations who are nonetheless our allies. The smallest action could tip the balance and draw us into their conflict. If I may offer some advice, be very careful. We do not want a war to break out here. My lady, I have to go. Goodbye. <laughs>